We're now going to look at a way that we can make the URL code generated a little bit longer because remember what we're doing is when we generate a URL we're getting something like five through uh, if the ID is five although we're converting from base 10 to base 36. This is fine if you want it this way uh, but remember uh, in previous parts we looked at changing the auto increment of the table which isn't ideal we don't want to do that. So we're going to look at a way that we can from the start when we launch this and allow people to start generating URLs to see longer, better looking codes. So I'm going to clear out the database entirely here. And what we're actually going to do is at the point where we update our um, link or our new link that we create with our URL, rather than doing this base convert here, what we're actually going to do is we're going to implement a method on our links model to actually generate a short URL code uh, from this model directly. And that's going to pull in the ID and actually go ahead and generate that. So the first thing I'm going to do actually in here is just tidy this up. I'm going to change these two properties to protected. They don't need to be public. So I'll go ahead and do that first. And the next thing I want to do is create a new method in here. So this is going to be called generate short code. Uh, we could call it get short code, but that assumes we're actually getting the code from the database table. So this is to actually generate a short code. So this is going to be a useful method for when we create the new link, but haven't actually generated the new code yet. We can pull that through and use it within here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to return that base convert function. And here I'm just going to say this ID because this will then refer to the current object we're working with. So when we create this, we can now say new link generate short code. So we're using that method to pull that back. So let's make sure this works first and then we'll look at the uh, better method of generating longer uh, URLs. So let's create a new record in here. And you can see it's done exactly the same thing and it's worked in exactly the same way. We have an ID of six and a code of six. But now we want to make this a little bit better. So what we can actually do then is just, I'm going to wrap this in parentheses just so it's a little bit easier to read. And we're going to say this ID plus, and then we're going to say something like 100,000. So all that will do is whatever ID that we get, it's going to add 100,000 onto it. So when we create our first record, which is, has an ID of one, that's going to be um, 100,001 and then 100,002 and so on and so forth. So it will keep generating these. They'll still be unique because we'll be adding this ID on, but we're just uh, modifying this value slightly so we uh, get a better URL from this. So uh, let's go ahead and try this out then. I'm going to delete the record in here. Oh, I already did that. I'm going to hit this and we see 255Z. Let's go ahead and pass another URL in. And you see we get something else. We can do the same here like that. Of course, what you could do is make this even larger. And then we can go ahead and generate another URL. So let's do this. And there we go. So we get something even larger there. So we've now got a slightly better code set from the offset so we don't have to modify the auto increment on our table, which is obviously bad practice. So there we go. I wouldn't make this number too large. I'd probably keep it as something like 100,000 just to be safe. But there we are. There is a new method of generating a short code. So it's a lot uh, cleaner. We just have to call that on that model. And then uh, we have the uh, increment of our ID to give us uh, better codes from when we first launched this and allow people to use it.